Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all okay and uh, all looking after yourselves and keeping well. Welcome to all my new subscribers. It's a pleasure to have you with me. <clears throat> Just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel. The video is made on this channel for adults and in no way, shape or form, <clears throat> excuse me, made for or intended for children. We're going to be colouring in uh, Magical Delights by Clara Markova. We'll do in uh, the candle. I'll just show you that, like so. As you can see, we've done a fair bit of it. Uh, this will be the last one. If I don't finish it all tonight, I'll finish it off camera and we'll start something new on the next one. We should get most of it done. Um, yes, it's been a while again. I'm terrible for saying, oh yeah, no worries, I'll do one in the next couple of days and then the days get away from me. Days get away from me and yep, yeah, that's it. I'm all, I forget what I'm doing. And uh, I get busy. So on Friday we were doing a quiz. We were doing an 80s music quiz. We came, I think, to something like 21st or something like that. It wasn't too bad. It was good fun. And that's why we do it. We just have a good laugh. And this week we're doing two. On Friday we are doing the Red Dwarf quiz. And on Saturday we're doing the rock music quiz. So first of all, hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Um, I hope you enjoy the channel. Let me know the sort of things you want to see on here uh, down below. Um, and welcome back to those of you who have been here before. I'm glad you're all back. I appreciate every single one of you. If you've joined my colouring group, Andrea's Attic colouring group over on Facebook, thank you very much. If you want to, if you just go and type in search bar Andrea's Attic colouring group, if you want to join, you certainly can. Um, I tend to mostly post the videos links on there um, so uh, you're aware of it, but you, by all means, please feel free to post whatever it is you're working on, uh, what you've been colouring what uh, new supplies you get you know all that sort of good stuff please please do yeah leave it leave it on there for me um i love to see what uh, what supplies you're picking up and uh, what books you're getting what you're coloring you know anything you want to see any recommendations you've got just pop over to the colouring group, join it if you're not already a member and uh, let me know what you want to see or what you're using or what you think I should be using, you know, what you would like to see me try and if I can, I will try it. So yeah, it's, um, it's all over there on Facebook, um, Andrea's Attic Colouring Group. So yeah, if you can do, I would appreciate it. It's always nice to have new members. Um, Obviously, it's not compulsory. You don't have to join. I'm not going to make you. I'm not going to be angry if you don't. But if you do, it's just a way of sharing what you're colouring. I like to see what people are colouring. Um, I don't get to watch as much YouTube as I used to because my daughter seems to have taken over the TV. And, uh, yeah, so I don't really get to see that much these days. As much as I'd like to. I do try to watch some. Um, at least the colouring pages and uh, some colouring chats if I can but it's very difficult because she just wants to watch her stuff and then when she's in bed obviously Paul he's not really into the colouring scene so he doesn't want to watch videos about it he'd rather watch uh, TV programmes I don't know but um, saying that This evening, this Sunday evening when I'm filming this, you'll be seeing this on a Monday. Um, he was colouring. He had um, my Crayola Super Tip pen pens and one of my Jade Summer pattern colour books. And he's been colouring a pattern in there and he'll continue to do that a bit over the next few days, hopefully. It, it looks good. He's enjoying it. I was colouring in another one of my Jade Summer pattern colouring books. Um, I was colouring in swirls for beginners and he was colouring, I want to say magical patterns. So they've got amazing patterns and they've got magical patterns and I've got both of them. But I'm not sure <laughs> which one is which. 
So I think I'm going to use a light blue on the, some of these pearls, just because I don't want to do grey. So yeah, so he was in, enjoying that today. I just thought he might want to do something a bit different so he could uh, just um, chill out really with me and and he did. And we sat there for a good hour colouring together. It was nice. Yeah, like I said, he's not really into colouring that much but he, he does do it every now and again. And he does find it relaxes him a bit so... As long as he's happy. <clears throat> it makes makes me happy. So what have you all been up to by the way? What have you been colouring? Have you got anything new? I mean to be fair Jade Summer hasn't released anything this month I want. Um, they had a week off and then they released Art Nouveau Grayscale. Well, I've got the line art version of that, and I haven't coloured in that yet, so I'm not going to go and buy the blinking grayscale if I haven't coloured in the line art, am I? And then this week, they, and then this last week, just gone, they didn't release anything again. So I've just been buying some of the older Jade Summer books for the collection, which is fine. I'm quite happy to do that. It's nice to get some of the older ones I haven't got. I've got some other books, I've got some books on order, I've got some fashion ones on, I've got um, uh, Women in Fashion which is like through the through the ages and then I've got one called, um, uh, it's a 50s book, 50s fashion in grayscale so I thought that'd be nice to do with the uh, Everblend markers when I get it. I'm supposed to come next week. I'll do a flip through of that in case you want to have a look. I've got no idea what it's going to look like. I need them for some of the other bits. Um, we'll use silver. I think silver actually works very well. Um, the three metallics within the polychroma set, the silver is the one that works the best. The bronze and the gold are very scratchy but the silver is very very nice to use to be fair so I don't mind using that one. So yeah like I said Paul was using the silver tips. And I was using glitter pens. I like those. I haven't used them for a while. So, that's that. so I think I'm going to leave the background and, and do that on my own. And probably this one pomegranate down here, which I haven't started at all. Um, but we'll just do a few bits and have a quick chat. And then I'll uh, I'll finish it off, off camera a bit later. In time for the end of the month. So I got so many whips on the go. It is unreal how many whips I've got on the go at the moment. So obviously I've got this one, which we're doing now, which is fine. And then I've got Jade Summer Weddings. Uh, Jade Summer Light Fantasy. Jade Summer Swirls for Beginners, not Jade Summer. I've got my one in um, Imagimorphia. And then I've got one in the, the current new issue of um, Colour in Heaven, which is the Dragon's Book. So as I've said before, I'm not big on dragons and that's why I'm glad I've got the colour in heaven because I will colour it and it'll get me into colouring something I'm not that good at. But I have started one and not that interested in because I'm not big. I'm, I know some people really love dragons but nah, they don't really do anything for me. But I'm colouring one at the moment in that and I'm really enjoying it. And that's not including the whips that I'm not working on that are on the top of my cupboard. Um, so I finished one of those this month and that was from a Jade Summer book. And then next month I will make sure I pull down another one and finish that. So 
So, yeah, it's gone a bit low now. There we go. So, yeah, so it's all good. What we're doing with the getting through the jade summers, and I have bought some jade summer this month because I thought, oh, I'll buy a few that I haven't got. You know, there can't be that many left that I haven't got. Oh, yeah, there's over 50. Oh, yeah, there's over 50 that I haven't got yet. Whether they're all still available, I don't know, because obviously some of their books, when they go out of print, that's it, they don't reprint them, sadly. And I've missed quite a few because I thought, I don't want that yet, but I will get it later. And now I can't. So there's a few of those, but it's not the end of the world. And I'll... Um, Oops, I'm out of focus. Try and uh, get what I can. So, out of the ones that I haven't got that I want, they, they, they're just so, they just put out so many, and I, now I'm, I am trying to buy them as they come out. So they only do it once a week or once every other week at the moment. Um, and because of that, I'm just... I've just been buying the odd ones. So if they put one out I want this week, I'll get it. Of course I will. But if they just put out a grayscale that I've got in line art, I probably won't. If, of course, they put out a grayscale that I haven't got a line art of, then obviously I might, I might pick it up. But then again, it depends on what it is. So for instance, at the moment, they've put out tattoos in grayscale and I want that one because I think that'll be quite fun to do a tattoo grayscale um, but they've got tattoos too but not tattoos to grayscale so I have to admit while I like Jade Summer I know a lot of people get annoyed that they just keep reissuing books um, in grayscale and not putting out new ones like they normally do um, and say, why don't they just put, and some people say, why don't they just put them out in grayscale to start with? And they've actually explained the reason they do that is they want to see how well or how popular the book is before they make a grayscale version of it. And I kind of understand that, but it also doesn't make much sense because I know a lot of people, if they've bought the line art, art version, they won't buy the grayscale version. But you don't know if they're going to put out a grayscale version. So they, you know, they'll either buy it and then they'll put out the grayscale version and then they won't get the same people buying the book because, let's be honest, I don't buy two copies. I might do if I really like the book, but there's never been one that I thought, yeah, I must get another copy of this right now. So, and I'm not saying it won't happen because they, they've had some lovely books out lately. And they have. Uh, let's put that back in. Uh, I'm going to put these blues back now. But I, I just, I don't know. Let's see, they had, they put out a horse's book. They haven't put that out in grayscale. And they had a dragon's book, and they haven't put that out in grayscale. I don't believe. I guess if they put those out in grayscale, I might pick them up. But then I wouldn't buy the line art. But if they haven't been particularly successful as a line art version, they won't put them out in grayscale. So it sort of doesn't make any sense the way they do it, really. Now that's me just ranting on about Jade Summer. But uh, yeah, I've done, I've obviously I'm, I've got so many Jade Summer books and I'm trying to colour in every single book I own, which I'm still not going to do this month, especially with the Jade Summer because there's so many of them. But next month I'm going to lay off the Jade Summers for a bit. I think I'm going to try and have a month of no Jade Summer in July. It's going to be Christmas in July. Um, so if I do do anything in the Jade Summer book, it will be in one of the Christmas ones that I haven't done anything in. I think I've got two I haven't done anything in. Um, but the rest of it will be where you on oh dear me other other books so yeah 
Yeah, that one. So I, I'm going to do Christmas in July, I think. Because I do quite like the Christmas in July. But if I do, it, I, I'm only going to try and do something like four pictures. There'll be like one a month. And I'm going to try and do a uh, picture in books that I haven't coloured in because that's what I'm trying to do at the moment. I'm trying to colour in all my other, all my uncoloured books. I would love to have no books on the uncoloured shelf. Or if I can get it down to just a few, that'd be fine because what then I could do is I'd have another shelf for books I've coloured in. Um, because at the moment it's I don't mind having a shelf with the books I haven't coloured in on it's just that there's too many of them in my opinion I want less of them on there uh, because there's just so many of them I don't know how many I haven't counted them but of course I've got new ones as well that I've bought this month so I've got two colour in heaven load of jade summer as usual I don't know if there's anything else up there yet but there will be I've, I've got like I've got those fashion ones come in I am just trying to, to collect as many of the jade somewhere, the ones I want anyway, as I can. So. so I'm looking up there and I can see, I mean I've got one, two, three, four. Kirby Razan's up there. I've got a load of Creative Haven up there. A load of Selena Fennec up there. I do want to colour in for Dorables, so I might make that a point uh, next month. If I don't get to onto it this month, but I need to try and start uh, finishing my whips, really. So I want to get this one done. And like I said, I'm working on one of the dragons from the Colour in Heaven book. So because of that, because I'm working on the Colour in Heaven book, I, I, yeah, and that is going to take me a while because it is going to be quite um, a lot of detailing on it. It is quite a detailed picture, but I'm not going to rush it, but I will try and I'm going to do a bit after I've done this. Um, and then when I, you know, try and do a little bit. Uh, I'm working on one in the Jade Summer book of um, uh, Gosh, what is it I'm trying to do? I've forgotten now. Oh, one of the uh, the Jade Summer Wedding Book um, with the Crayolas, and when I finish that one, I'll have two pictures I've done with the Crayolas. So then I'll, I'll do my review. I'll, I'll do a picture on camera, like I've done with the Black Widows uh, with the um, oh god, what were they called? My mind's gone blank. W. H. Smith pencils. See, I just, my my brain is just so not with it. You know what I mean? It's it's just terrible at the moment. I don't know what's wrong with me. It must be lockdown fever or something. So, yeah, I'll be um, doing that soon. It won't be long. And that'd be nice because uh, I'm going to do this fairy up here now. So I've just turned it around. I enjoy making those sorts of videos. They take a little while to do. But I really, really enjoy them. Just because it's something to do and it shows you what you can achieve with 
a cheaper pencil and you can ch do nice things with them if you know how to do. Now obviously with the Crayos you can't layer that much because they do burnish out quite quickly so but they're still very nice pencils to use I must say. I mean then obviously they're not as good as the Prismacolors or the Polychromos if you like the, the wax or the oil. See the Polychromos are oil based and they go down lovely on this very smooth paper and I like it in here. Um, one left. Oh, I want to do one more fairy. Oh, is it what colour? I don't know. Hmm. I'll have a nice blue. So, so yes, the polys do go down nicely on this paper. I will admit. Let me just pull that on so you could see it better. They do go down very, very nicely. very smoothly so as long as you layer them you're all right I do love do, using my polys, um, but they are they are an expensive pencil. So I gotta be honest, I don't want to use them up too much. Although I can get these open stock um, at Hobbycraft if I can be bothered to drive there, or of course I can get them from online from somewhere like uh, Rainbow Arts or the coloured pencil shop. There, there are a few places in the UK where you can buy coloured pencils online, open stock. Um, thing I'm going to do. Ooh, Mandalas for Beginners from Jade Summer has been dispatched. That's another one I've ordered. Terrible. Just have a look at something. I won't be a sec. Probably granite now inside. So Paul was colouring in this picture and he's like, oh god, this is all symmetrical, isn't it? And they went, yeah. And he was like, oh god. But he was, he was all right. He was doing fine with it. It looked, it looked really good. i got to be honest, he was doing really well. Re I really liked it. So I'm looking forward to seeing it, him finish it. Of course, it might take him a bit longer, but he, he will do it. He's one of those people who, like me, gets quite bored with things if it takes too long. So that's why I think patterns are probably best for him. Oh, 
yeah I think they're better for him to do the um, patterns because you know they're not as they, they don't take as long they're not as in depth they don't need the shading and the blending and the different things that we do and I don't always blend and shade but sometimes I do I don't with patterns you can obviously I've seen people do amazing blending and shading with the pattern books it's not for me I'm not gonna lie it's not for me because um, I do them entirely to relax and that's it so I just straight color them but I do appreciate anybody who, who does do it properly also I tend to do them where Jennifer can get hold of the book Whereas if she got hold of, say, this book and scribbled over this picture, I would be devastated because I've put so much time into it. And the same with my dragons and some of the other pictures. I've spent a long time on it. So if she got hold of it, I would be devastated because of the amount of time it's taken me to, to get this done the way I want it to, to look right. You know? So... I'm just going to do that like that because that's that. But you'll see why in a minute because it's going to have a different colour over the top of that as well. So that go in there and then I want this lighter one as well. I'm going to do the seeds. But yeah, so if she, but if she scribbled on a, a pattern book I was colouring in, I'd be like, oh well. She's you know, not the end of the world. It didn't take me long. It's probably take me about half an hour. Whereas this has taken not a huge amount of time, to be fair. But it's taken a bit longer. Um, but, you know. And of course, the pattern book, the, the Jade Summer pattern books, are like three nine and four nine nine. Whereas obviously, this one cost me a lot of money from. I ordered it from direct from Clara on Etsy and I, I'm happy to do that and I will be ordering another one probably after my birthday because my birthday is at the end of the month so I will have some birthday money so I'm going to treat myself I think to um, another one of her books if I can get it ordered I know she's not shipping to certain places though um, if she doesn't ship to me that's fine I'll wait until I'll get it once she does again and she will again. <clears throat> she might do because it's still Europe, look. Technically. Oh, it's very warm in here. I tell you, as soon as I finish this video, we will be putting the fan on. I will be. I'll still be colouring. But I'll be colouring off camera with my Black Widows. doing the um, dragon we're, we're nearly done on this there's not a lot left so camera will be going off in a minute because it's going to hit 30 minutes and I'll pop it back on and we'll just carry on like I said I will do the background off camera just because it's going to be easier for me to do it like that and the background's going to be a bit boring to do so there's certain little touches touch-ups I'll put on a, off camera that aren't important for instance in between these pomegranate seeds I'll go in with the, the ivory again the cream and uh, just do that um, but yeah we go it stopped and I've started it again so I 
you do kind of run out of things to talk about after a while, you know. Especially at the moment, because, I mean, I don't really want to talk about what's going on in the world. We discussed that in the last video, and it's quite depressing. And I don't think we need to keep talking about it. We are aware of it, and we remain aware of it. I am proud of Newport. Newport had a demonstration, I think it was Saturday, and it went off without any trouble at all. Everybody in Newport behaved absolutely amazingly. Very proud of Newport people for that because I know a lot of places there are, you know, it's it's not been going as well and people have been getting quite violent and I understand why. I do, but I'm very proud of Newport for, for not doing that. And for... Um, remaining very calm and just protesting in a way that is it is how that's how we should be protesting peacefully not causing any damage no violence nothing nothing was damaged it was, it's brilliant to see Newport behaving in that way and Newport generally gets a bad rep so I'm very proud of the people of Newport who went out and did it I'm in Risca and um, it's a bit far from, well it's not far, it's about seven miles to Newport but uh, not a good idea for me to go out in a crowd and everybody, most people were wearing masks to be honest, they were, they were very, very, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say it, they were brilliant so very proud of the people of Newport, I really, really am, so fair play to them. Uh, yeah, we'll do this one, this is it this one I did? So fair play to him, Newport. Very proud of you. But like I said, we're not going to keep talking about it because we discussed it last time. So we're just going to keep colouring these little pond crowns tops, and then. Uh, We'll do the other two pomegranates and then we'll be pretty much done, apart from the background, but like I said, I'm not going to do that on camera because it'll take ages and it's just me going to be colouring in one or two different colours and I'm just going to do it very dark green. I'm just going to do it lighter around the candle, but it is just going to be green. So you don't need to see me doing that. So we'll just finish off all the bits in here. There's not a lot left now. So when you do see this again, once we finish this little bit, these bits here, it will have a background and it will be obviously at the end of the month when we do our completed pages and I am looking forward to the end of the month because I'm off for, um, off work for a few days. We would would be would have been going on holiday but obviously yeah that's not happening these now um, but that's understandable. I totally I'm okay with it. We'll have our holiday when it's safe to do so when they reopen properly. And uh, then we'll uh, we'll go on our holiday. It's supposed to be contacting Paul about when he wants to rebook it for, but we'll probably just rebook it for next year, pay a bit extra, and go at the same time. If not, he can get the money back and buy me a set of whole bones. He wouldn't, and I wouldn't want them. Too expensive. For a set of pencils, they're far too expensive. <laughs> I, I can't justify it. And the only reason I got the polychromos was I was, uh, they were on Black Friday sale and I had some money. And, the, <clears throat> and I'll be honest, the reason I got my Prismas was they were on sale and um, I had a bonus at work where we had done some overtime and they gave us, it was just emails, it was closing emails, and they gave us so much money for every email close. It was like a pound for every email. And I closed over 90, so I had over 90 pound bonus. And it was given as a, a voucher gift card. So I had, um, and I, I asked for an Amazon voucher. And at that point, Prisma Colour Premiers were on offer at 88 pounds. Uh, so I bought, I bought those. Um, 
and obviously I know I can get open stock in the UK so that's one of the things I need to start looking at doing is getting some open stock Prismacolors um, to replace the ones that are getting low as long as I can get the colours I want and that is the question sometimes if you can get them and I'll do the same with the polys I mean I mean I've got some short polys not really short but not as short as some of the Prismas I've got a short the, the, the flesh tone ones that are shorter but I have got um, obviously they call them peach and stuff like that and cream um, but I have got another set of those well not a set but I have got more of those um because I actually bought those before I invested in the whole set I bought a few uh open stock polys from Hobbycraft to try it I'm very glad I did because I liked them and that's how I knew I wanted to buy them though I prefer normally would prefer waxed based crayons I do actually like the polys, so, but yeah, so I've still got, I think I've got the three flesh, the light flesh, not the darker flesh ones, um, from them. And I know those of you who use the Black Widows, you can get open stock Black Widows, but you do have to email MediHealth, uh, Albert at MediHealth, to get them. But they do do them. I don't know how much they cost, because uh, although he mentioned, oh, just email me and I'll, you know, we can do some open stock. I don't know how much it'll be. If they're coming from a supplier in the UK, it probably won't be too much. But I look at it as if it costs a lot, it's not worth it. You might as well just invest in another set. I want another set of the Black Widows because I was desperately running short on some colours. And that's okay because I've now got enough. Uh, yeah, we're doing this one up here now. I mean, yeah, I've got the book on, so it's all upright for me, but it's sideways for you. Um, just while I colour in these little bits and then I'll turn it around for you because I'm literally just going to do these two and that's it the only thing I need to do in then is the background so we'll just do this bit and that'll be it so next video we will be going we will be doing a Jade Summer book we will be doing the picture in a Unicorn's Grey Scale with the uh, Everblend markers so that'll be a nice hopefully one or two episode video it won't be this one's been three which isn't too bad I don't really want to do any more than three parts which is why I'm not doing the background on this one um, so yeah oh it's warm so yeah the next one will be the uh, unicorn grey scale we know what picture we're doing we've got that ready and we'll be doing that one with the other blends in the next video which I hopefully will get to do in the next day or so rather than leaving it as long as I did for this one like I said I keep I have the best of intentions I'm going to film tonight and then I don't get around to it and I do apologize it's a failure on me I've got to stick to it I mean partly it's sometimes it's because I'm doing my eBay which has been very very quiet sadly it is what it is. I think it's because the shops are reopening in England tomorrow. So people are saving their money to, because they think, oh, I'm going to go to the shops on Monday. Of course, they're going to go to the shops on Monday and find that they have to queue for hours. And then they got social, big, big social distancing inside. They can't try anything on. You can, can take it back, of course, because that's the law in this country. You, you know, you can take things back. Um, and I think some people will just get fed up of waiting in the queue. And we'll say, bugger this, I'm off home. I'll go and have a look on eBay. Um, and some people won't, because some of the shops will be having big sales. Now, in Wales, it is slightly different. Our shops aren't reopening, because the First Minister is still very hot on the lockdown and the social distancing. Um, we'll have to see what he says. He'll be making um, decisions and having a review this week. I think it's Thursday. Thursday he'll be doing a review so it'll be announced on Friday. What will be happening in Wales? I know I'm not going back to work until, well, the end of September is the earliest they're going to allow us to work back in the office unless we absolutely really need to. 
Uh, my manager phoned and asked me if I wanted to work from home after uh, after the end of September. I said, well, it depends on how the nurseries are going to cope. But she'll be going to school soon, sometime next year. So I might be able to get her into a nursery in Risca when they when they start opening. When there's a new one opening. But I'll have to look into it. Right, that is all I'm doing on this picture on camera. Because all that's left now is the background. So <clears throat> I'll just uh, zoom it out so we can have a look. So at the moment, yeah, it's very, very plain at the background. I'm going to go and do a lighter green here. And it's going to get darker and darker until we're on the darkest green I've got. Which I think is pine. It won't be that light. It'll be still be a darker green. Uh, but it'll be pine be around the edges. And it's just to, to give it a little bit of a background. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this one, colouring in uh, Clara McCover's Magical Delights. Like I said, it'd be Jade Summer Unicorns Grayscale next, because I agreed to do one of that. I just didn't do it as quickly as I wanted to, because Anne over at A Colourful Life was doing a picture in it, and I didn't want to do the same as her, because, you know, it gets boring if we all do the same stuff all the time. Um, but we will do that next one, next time, because I did say we would. I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. I do appreciate your comments. I do try and answer every single one of them. It may take me a little while if I don't notice them because I don't always get the notifications. I have to actually sometimes go and physically check the videos for some reason and I don't know why. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. Give it a thumbs up if you want to. Don't forget to share it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I do appreciate it. And hit the notification bell so you get notified next time and each time I upload a new video and I will see you all soon. So bye guys!